Ready? Doc Stanley Boykin on boxing, one of the legendary. Harold Weston Jr. told me that at your best, you could be Sugar Ray Robinson. He said you were his idol, you were his mentor, and he said one time you told him in the ring, when you told him that he was ready to fight, he knew he was the great Emil. Emil, what got you into boxing? <laughs> My manager, Howard Albert and Gil Clancy, they got me into boxing. I was working for Howard Albert in the Ladies Hat Factory. That's how it started. And then he said one day you pulled your shirt and he said, oh my goodness, this guy should be doing more than this, these, these shirts in here. <laughs> when I took my shirt off, that's when the whole thing blew up. <laughs> but it was fun. Emil, you know, you were a three-time champion. You won the welterweight, the middleweight, but you won that junior middleweight. So a lot of people don't realize that you were a three-time champion, but in your day, you figure, hey, if it wasn't one of the eight, it didn't matter. <laughs> I did my best. I, I'm still trying to not make um, no new rhythm or nothing like that, but enjoy myself doing it now. Mm -hmm. Emil, look at us. Is anybody out there that, that impresses you? Everybody talks a lot about Floyd Mayweather Jr. Have you seen him? Does he impress you? Is he as good as they say he is? Well, I don't know because I haven't seen him. But God bless him wherever he fights. I wish him luck. Mm -hmm. Emil, welterweight, middleweight. Which would which you like? Would you rather stay at the welterweight? Did you with middleweight? Did you have a preference? Well, I don't know which one I want to stay, stay to now still. Welterweight or middleweight? It's it's for my uh, Irish manager, Gil Clancy. Mm. He tell me which one to stay to. And, and, and so your biggest fan was your mother right there, rooting for you. A lot of times you said the other guy would start beating you. Don't be hitting on my son like that. <laughs> well, that's a mom for you. She said she always she come here to see her son win, and she come here to root him on, and I like that. Was it was it always special fighting in Madison Square Garden? I mean, is that the number one place to fight in the world? I think so. Yes. Anything you want to say to your fans out there, like hello, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, something? Like he said, hello, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, have a wonderful time. I'm sorry, I'm enjoying myself. I got it, ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest fighters that ever lived, one of the greatest human beings that ever lived, and, one, and, and my daughter Demi's favorite fighter, Uncle Emil, Doc Stanley, working on boxing, the legendary, the incomparable Emil Griffith. Por favor, suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube, Las Cinco Esquinas de Nueva York.